Hey, I have a question. Why is Rahab the prostitute considered a paragon of faith? If you don't know the story, here's a recap. Joshua sends two Hebrew spies to collect intel on Jericho. They stay with Rahab the prostitute so they can get a good lay of the land, if you know what I mean. The king of Jericho discovers this and sends soldiers to the Hotel California. Rahab hides the spies on the roof and tells the soldiers, oh yeah, the Hebrews came a long time ago, if you know what I mean, but they aren't here anymore. Then for some crazy reason, the soldiers just take her word for it and leave without searching the place. Rahab tells the spies she knows their God will soon become the new landlord, so she makes them swear that her family will be spared when the Hebrews eventually sack and pillage the city. Because of this, Rahab is inducted into St. Paul's Hall of Faith in Hebrews 11, while she appears as a shining example of working faith in James chapter 2. Now, I'm not questioning whether or not Rahab's actions in the story are good. After all, I'm sure Europeans living under Nazi rule faced similar circumstances when hiding Jews or other persecuted groups. And I fully agree, lying in order to save lives is the moral thing to do. So I don't question if her actions were moral, but I do question how they were an example of faith. See, if Rahab really trusted God, she would not have felt the need to lie. I mean, the apostles get blasted for denying Jesus when he was arrested, even though all they were doing was lying in order to preserve their lives. Which is something I think God would applaud since he is so pro-life. However, that event is viewed as the disciples hitting rock bottom, because although lying kept them alive, they did so at the expense of their faith. Now, Rahab lied for the same reasons. She did it to preserve her life, as well as the two Hebrew spies. But James tells us that Rahab was justified by works when she hid the men from the soldiers. No, what she should have done was tell the truth and not rely on carnal deception. She should have admitted, why yes, I am harboring Hebrew spies, but they were sent to me by the one true God, Yahweh. And even if you take our lives, the Lord will do some pretty creative things to prevent you from foiling his plans for Jericho like turn you into pillars of salt or give you hemorrhoids. You know, horrible stuff like that. All I'm saying is, trusting the will of God at the risk of your own life? Now that's an exercise of extraordinary faith worthy of Hebrews 11. But hiding people and lying about it? Well, that's something anyone can do, and it certainly isn't an act of faith. I don't know, maybe Rahab just got caught up in the moment and panicked. <laughs> Or maybe the soldiers had chariots of iron.